All right, what's up, YouTube? Today, I am in the pack, Point Ox Chen, or Point of Shen, as we say it. This is a fairly decent place to fish, man. A lot of people catch a lot of red, sheephead, drum, anything. Let's go. Something else, pretty big, not too big. Oh, wow, that sheephead, boy, I'm about to rack up. That's what I'm gonna get in bites on. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, guess what I did? Forgot my net. Oh, man. Get in this. Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty one. That's the smallest one I caught this year. Cause y'all, y'all watch my previous videos. Y'all know what I was catching. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, something's either guided. Or I'm just. Yeah, I got a fish. Uh, I don't know what it is. Hey, I don't know if it's a fish or not. I think it's a, oh, it's a fish. It's just not. I think it might be a catfish. It's a little drum. Look at this, y'all. Oh, and he broke off. I have a net in the car. Why do I not use it? There we go. Oh, what the? How did you get off? There we go. There we go. Hold him. Hold him. Another sheep head. Oh, yeah. His little bitty sheep head down there. That's what's biting. I just, I'm surprised I hooked into this one. Let's talk about the setup real quick before I continue. Kind of the same as last, uh, the last video y'all saw. Small weight like that and then like you know like carolina rig and then you got the itty bitty hook not too itty bitty and then you got the baby shrimp all right and what i'm really doing is if you can see if you look down the current is going this way and it's a strong current so like <laughs> when i cast i have to cast this way and just you know just let it sit it's not going to sit but it's going to be like suspended and what i do is i t toss it that way I just keep the line tight. It's gonna be tight regardless because the current is pushing the, the bait out that way. I just keep the pole down, watch my line, and I'm really feeling for bites. I'm talking about light bites. I'm talking about, I thought croaker bit light. These guys, like I said, that last one, I did not even know I had them. Got them, got them. Oh, that's a nicer one. Now, this one's heavier than the last one. This one's, all right. Let's put a little, little drag. Oh, well, somewhat a better fish. Let's get this one up. Maybe my drag is just, just too loose. There we go. There we go. There we go. We're on the same size, not too big. I got to the point where I'm just kind of roughing these guys in. Feisty one too. Feisty, feisty. He's a little bigger, not too much bigger. It's no point in me keeping him. I don't want to keep them too small. I don't know if people eat these little bitty sheep head. I'm not used to catching none this small. But that's what they look like. There we go. Oh, it's a bigger one. Let's go. It's a real, it's a way bigger one. All right, y'all, this is a keeper one. Nah, I just have to get it up. I can't lose these fish, man. I can't lose these at all. I'm gonna try and ring them up. Here we go, y'all. Moment of truth, let's do it. Uh, all right, y'all, from now on, I'm using the net. I keep saying it, keep saying I'm using net. I lost a good fish, I'm using the net. Itty bitty one, huh? Real, oh, real small. Itty bitty. Look at this. What I'm gonna do with that? It's like a brim. There we go. So, might be a keeper. Might be. Might be. If I can get him out the water, he might be a keeper. 
Oh, close enough though. But I figured out why I've been missing a lot of fish. If you can see, I'm gonna show y'all in a minute. These guys have teeth. I'm not trying to get bit. I don't know if you guys can see it that well. And behind those teeth, there are, uh, they're like shell crushers or whatever. And it's really hard. So he has a hard mouth. So with this hook, it's hard to actually hook him in a good spot for the hook to go all the way through because they have to get through those um those shell crackers or barnacle crackers or whatever the heck they call okay got something oh it's it's not too big but i don't know what it is just yet i think it's a sheep head all right he's to me now lost a little drum okay Ooh, oh my gosh, everything I've catching is throwbacks. Oh, uh, I'll give y'all a little pointer. Y'all saw the fish I just caught and y'all see this one. Oh, and he just peed on me. Thank you, I, I wanted that. But you see how this one has the same kind of pattern as the sheep head. Well, you can see that this one's a little bit longer body and you can also tell that he doesn't have any teeth right here. So that's the difference because I messed up one time a while back and I caught a whole bunch of undersized fish and thought they were sheep head, but couldn't tell the difference. Now I know. Ew. Oh well, back you go, buddy. There we go. There we go. None of these guys are making the cut. Like I'm just roughing this one in. This one's not even that big. Man, none of these guys are making the cut. There we go. Okay, this is a bigger one. He was just sitting on there. Let me see what he looks like. Uh, let me see. Let me get the net just in case. I always wanted to use this net. No, oh, I can't even get him. Yeah, the net. This is a decent one. Oh, he's a keeper too. I almost broke my wrist trying to catch this guy. Oh, what a net. Gotta get the net. He pulled like he was. Oh, that's why. Oh, it's a drum. That's why you was fighting hard like that. Thought you was a sheep head, boy. Throwback Sunday. All right, what's up, you guys? A lot of things happened after that clip. The GoPro died, a lot of just crazy stuff. This is gonna be the outro for this video. Hope you guys liked the video. If you didn't already, please like and subscribe. Until next time, y'all already know. I'm gonna see y'all soon. Peace.